Perimeter of Plane Figures Imagine a small ant standing on the top left corner of this rectangle. The lengths of the sides of the rectangle are labeled, as you can see. The ant starts moving to the right in a straight line until it covers the entire length of the top side and reaches the opposite corner. At this point, the ant has traveled a distance equal to the length of the top side of the rectangle, which is 7 meters. The ant now faces downwards and starts moving in a straight line until it reaches the bottom right corner. At this point, the ant has traveled a total distance equal to the length of the top side, plus the length of the right side of the rectangle, or 7 meters, plus 5 meters. Let's wait before we calculate the result. The ant is still moving. The ant now faces to the left and starts moving in a straight line until it covers the entire length of the bottom side of the rectangle and reaches the bottom left corner. At this point, the ant has traveled a total distance equal to the length of the top side plus the right side plus the bottom side of the rectangle or 7 meters plus 5 meters plus 7 meters. The ant now faces upwards and starts moving in a straight line until it finally reaches the top left corner, the original starting point. The ant stops here. In total, the ant has traveled a distance equal to the length of all sides of the rectangle. So we have 7 plus 5 plus 7 plus 5. Adding the numbers gives us a total of 24 meters. The total distance around the rectangle is called its perimeter. It is the total distance around a figure. Any plane figure will have a perimeter, not just rectangles. This rhombus has a perimeter, and it is equal to the total length of its sides. And this figure has a perimeter, and it is also equal to the total length of its sides. In this lesson, you learned what a perimeter of a plane figure means.